name is Dr. Maria Giroux and I'm an obstetrics and gynecology resident at the University of Saskatchewan. The OBGYN Academy has created a series of videos about COVID-19 or coronavirus that we would like to share with you today. So what is coronavirus? Coronavirus is a group of viruses that are related that cause disease in mammals and birds. The word corona comes from Latin and it means a crown. And this is because of the way the virus looks like under the microscope. The virus was first thought to be carried by bats in China and then transferred to a mammal that's called pangolin, which is a meat-eating mammal that's found in China and other parts of the world. There are seven strains of the virus that can cause infection to humans, and the infection can range from a fairly mild infection like a common cold to a fairly severe infection such as SARS and MERS. SARS is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, which was first identified in 2003 and became a global threat, whereas MERS is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, also called Camel Flu, which was first identified in 2012. So what is COVID-19? COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019, which is an infection that's caused by a specific virus called SARS-CoV-2, which is a severe acute respiratory syndrome, Coronavirus 2. It is a new virus that has not been previously identified. The first case was reported December 1, 2019, and the World Health Organization were notified that there was a cluster of cases of pneumonia without a known cause on December 31, 2019. Since then, the virus has spread throughout China and worldwide, and on March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declared that coronavirus is a pandemic. So what do we know about coronavirus? We know that the time that it takes from when the person first gets exposed to the time that they start to develop symptoms is anywhere between 2 days and 14 days, and on average it's about 5 days. 80% of people have fairly mild disease and they recover well at home, 15% of people need to be hospitalized, and 5% need intensive care. So they need help with their breathing, and they may be put on a mechanical ventilator, so a machine that helps them breathe. The people who are more likely to have a fairly mild disease are people who are younger and healthy. Whereas people who are more likely to have severe disease are people who are over the age of 60, or if they have any previous underlying medical conditions, and this could be heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, if they have high blood pressure, or if their immune system is compromised in any way. If we look at a person who is infected, and we look at people around them, so if this person is positive or infected, and the rest of the people have never been exposed or negative, on average, this infected person will infect two other people. 